Good evening. Uh, it takes a village. We've all heard that expression, but boy, is it true for this story. Manville Creek flows south to north, flows eventually into the East Gallatin, but it flows right along 11th on Bozeman High School campus. About 50, 60 years ago when Bozeman High was built, the creek was not protected by any of the stream preservation laws that we have today, and it basically was made into a ditch. Um, it was channelized, it was put into culverts, uh, devoid of any vegetation. Yeah, basically a ditch. And so the question that we had was, could we turn this ditch back into a creek? Something that kids would see as value. Valuable, excuse me. So, we can talk in the classroom about how important water is in the West and how important riparian zones are, but the truth is kids would leave the classroom and go and look at the creek just right outside and go, yeah, so this is a ditch. So, the question is, how do you change things? How do you make a creek along a high school where kids will just love to be out there and where we can go and teach kids. So there's the challenge. It wasn't only just about making it a nice, pretty creek. There's also a safety issue. So what you'll see in this next slide is a guy, his name is Todd. And Todd is infamous on, yeah, tubing down 11th. So just Google it and you'll see this six foot guy tubing down 11th Avenue right in front of the high school. What happens in every rainy event, just like it's raining tonight, the creek floods and goes out onto 11th, and it's pretty dangerous. That will never happen again because of these people. This is my village. This is the core of the village of Bozeman that came to our rescue and said, well, we had a kid at Bozeman High, or we had a kid at Bozeman High, or we will have a kid at Bozeman High, whatever. Come and help. And they sure did. So. I really thought when this started that we'd take a, a bulldozer or, you know, a bobcat and cut a little channel and put the crick in there and we'd be done. Oh, <laughs> how naive. So, wow, what have I learned about? I've learned about uh, 404 and 310 permits and about how you, you know, you have to get all the, oh my gosh, the topography and how the power of the stream and it goes on and on. Where do you plant the vegetation so that it holds onto the soil and prevents erosion? And it's been a huge, huge learning curve to try to figure out what we were doing to Bozeman High School property. <laughs> Here's our first cut. This happened three weeks ago. So we were two weeks before the start of school, and they made this first cut, and to be really honest, my stomach just kind of tightened up, because I was just like, oh my gosh, it's way too big, it's way, you know, what are we doing? But here we came, this was about a week before school, and uh, wow, we have this channel, we have these rocks, we have this wetland sod, you know, we're there. And then something happened, sort of like tonight, rain. I mean, when do we get two inches of rain in August? I mean, we turned Bozeman High School into a mud puddle. And it's like the biggest mud puddle on the planet. Oh, but with the help of the boys varsity and JV football team, with the freshman football team, with the boys and girls soccer teams, we laid sod and tons of it. And we made it. Here's another group of kids, but these are from 45 years ago. The class of 1969 is another part of our village that has helped us to make this, this project a reality. These guys, the first section of Vanderbilt Creek from Main Street, they hauled in rocks and planted trees. Here they are 45 years ago at our Sweet Pea Parade this August. And what a great group of kids. No, they're a little older than kids, but they're so incredible. They have committed to help fund our first permanent bridge. So what a group. So this is a potential of what we could be putting on Bozeman campus. We have two temporary bridges right now. We'll have four when the project finishes. This is a bridge that Ken Vanderwall made for the 100 acre park. It's on the north end and it's a piece of art. So we're just so excited, all the potential that this project could create. What beautiful, beautiful place. Here's 
our incredible village, the people of Bozeman that have stepped forward and said, we can help, because in honesty, we didn't have much money. <laughs> so boy, did these people save us. Incredible folks. So what's next? Well, we've got some planting left to do. We've put in some aspen and some perennials. Um, we're going to be putting out some uh, bunch grass and conifers. So we've got some planting left to do before the snow, except I think it's supposed to snow tonight, so I don't know what's going to happen. You know, it's kind of a weather problem these days. Um, my kids are going to continue their macroinvertebrate sampling. We've been sampling for about 20 years, and to be really honest, the quality has been of the very lowest. So we're so hoping that we can change that trend and start having some water quality indexes that are, are better. We'll see. We'll also be convening a group of teachers to discuss what do we want for outdoor classrooms. It's always been a dream of mine to take kids outside on those beautiful spring and fall days and sit by a creek under some aspen and, and teach. I mean, what an incredible vision that is. So that's what we're hoping. Um, so <laughs> here's a couple possibilities of incorporating the crick into a classroom, which I just love that idea. So outside my classroom right now, I've got a rock and I've got a waterfall, and I'm ready to go. All I need is some classroom, right? So we'll see where that goes. So what, what's left? We're halfway there and we ran out of money. So we hope that by next spring, we'll be back at it and we'll finish the second part. We'll be down to Durston with the Crick Reclamation. And uh, then we'll go with bridges and outdoor classrooms. So that's the village of Bozeman and all the help that it's given us. And truly, as a teacher in this community, it, it warms my heart. All the people that have stepped forward to say, we'll help. So thank you very much. <laughs>